Right, hello YouTube. Join me today. Uh, I've just gotten fuel. Just finished off my volunteering tree filling. Uh, today, seeing as my audio seems to be sounding better, I'm going to make the project video. Or I'm going to try and make four. So sit back, relax, and just try and enjoy the scenery, the wind maybe. Maybe my voice, because I can't speak properly, so. You'll probably hear some funny noises come out of me when I get annoyed. But yeah, hope you have a nice day as well. So, let's get into it. Now the person I'm going to be talking about on this video is Username Kate. I tried doing this before, I kind of failed at it, because the audio went to hell. So hopefully it works today. Um, should us YouTube 60,000 subscribers? 35,000, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot to check before heading out. But she does motorbike content. The sort of motorbike content she does is some reviews, some riding through to Scotland, some riding through country roads, some meetups, going off to different places, and just generally talking with people and doing meets. Now, if you're living in the north, you'll probably know who Kate is, as Kate's known by a lot of bikers in the area. Sorry about any wind noise, but you'll, yeah, it's like, she's known throughout the entire area around here, definitely around the Manchester area and Bolton area and Darwin and Blackburn. And Press and stuff. If you say a username Kate, people will probably agree with you that she's a nice person if they met her. And uh, her videos are always pleasant, she's always replying to comments. If you leave a nice comment on her video, she'll reply to you. If you leave a nasty one, she'll probably end up posting it to Instagram and, and making fun of it and like, making light of the situation and having a laugh. Now, like all big, all big uh, YouTube channels and stuff like that, you have um, quite a lot of negativity around some of the audience who uh, try and find a reason to hate on people. I'm not a big fan of people hating on other people. I understand having a laugh, but hating on people is just not a right thing to do. So in a lot of our comments you see a lot of people who would um, probably be classed as uh, old. Like, just old. There's no other way of putting it, they're just old. They'll moan about a lady riding a motorbike, they'll treat it like as if it's the 1800s. Um, they'll say ladies aren't allowed to ride motorbikes. But, she's brilliant on the motorbike, so I don't understand why they do it. I'm like, she's done a few videos, one recently, of her off-roading. And while she does panic and say that she can't do it because it's literally going down the most rockiest, steepest hill in the area, right, like one that most bikers would never go down, right, she still does it. She's done like really brave things like racing a motorbike, she's broke her fingers, carried on motorblogging, carried on riding motorbikes, she's had a broken toe before now and carried on riding on, doing vlogs. So, in my opinion, Kate's pretty good. She's a really good YouTuber. Now, her community comprises of like quite a lot of other YouTubers and stuff. Like, I know she's known by uh, some known people out there who ride motorbikes, who used to race motorbikes, like Carl Fogarty and stuff like that. And yeah, she's she's really good. She's um, part of the group of lady riders as well on Instagram where she gives them support and looks after people and I know for a fact that she helps out people with disabilities because I've got disabilities and she's helped me out like calm me down and talk me back to YouTube and yeah she's alright I think she's a brilliant person is Kate now she does have a boyfriend called Mike Pie who does Twitch streams, playing Tarkov a lot, 
and I think the pair of them together are pretty much made for each other. They both like bikes. They both uh, have an interesting outlook on life, which is basically you treat people like how you expect to be treated, and it's kind of nice and all that someone else thinks like that. And I think, personally, right, that any time that Kate has an issue, Mike's got her back, and any time Mike has an issue, Kate's got his back. And I think, personally, that's what couples should be like, innit? So not only is she a brilliant biker, what the fuck was that? Jesus Christ, what was that? Scared the bloody shite on me, that did. But yeah, right, back to, back to um, this video. I, see a, I just had a little poo-poo moment because someone was cutting up trees and I just rolled past them, didn't even notice. But yeah, now that I've had a little poo, back to the video. Um, yeah, she's she's a pretty good woman, like on bike, off bike, and I know that she's gone and helped a lot of people. She has a lot of charities. She did the gentleman's ride charity twice, and I know that she's done other things for people. And I'm pretty sure she works with Bikeshare. As it is sponsored, uh, get it sponsored by Bikeshare even, but she works with them. She's pretty good at it. Now, oh. give me a minute. Get that speed bit out of my way. Now, obviously, with her reviewing bikes and stuff, she does uh, racing and stuff, like. I don't know if it's proper racing, but she does like sports bike tracks, the uh, racing stuff, and she's bloody good at it. I think she should go like do it pretty well, I guess. And she's got friends like um, Ruby. I forgot her name. <laughs> Sorry about that. I forgot your name. Memory's a bit dead. She got friends only in London, is what I'm trying to say. I know she's got a friend called Lucy. Because I've seen Lucy's content a few times on YouTube's, where she rides the Ducati. But she's got loads of different friends, and they're all good people. All the people that are in her group, like follows her, subscribes to her, or talks with her daily, basically. They're all good people. All really good, like friendly, understanding people. Brilliant. Obviously her boyfriend's also like amazing and understanding and brilliant. And yeah, my personal experience of meeting them both. Uh they're alright. They're all both brilliant people, to be honest with you. Not really anything bad I can say about them because they just seem to be okay. If you want some biking advice, Mike will give you biking advice. If you want some uh, biking knowledge, Kate will give you the knowledge. It's kind of funny watching them both pop up on screen, though. Because you have, like, Mike mourn a bit, and Kate is getting on with it. <laughs> I do think they're both brilliant people, though. Oop, got slapped in the face by a leaf. That were weird. Yeah, I do 100% believe that they're amazing, brilliant people. Not just trying to like blow a smoke up anyone's ass or anything like that. It's just my own opinion. If you're going to go out and do charity runs for people and do everything you can to help people out and do things like support ladies, disabled people, people who are in need of any sort, any form, then it must mean that you're a pretty good person, right? Like, pretty sure that uh, they're both good people. I know it's kind. Of, I know it's kind of weird that I keep saying that they're good people and brilliant people, but just I. I'm trying to focus on the road, so I keep losing track of where I'm actually speaking from here. Because 
because I'm not following scripts, because I don't do scripts. So, I'm just going off the top of my head. Just my own opinion about things, because, like, like I said, I struggle speaking. <laughs> so, just doing my own opinion about things. Now, I think the best bit of content I've seen from Kate probably going to be when she went to Scotland on the little 125 uh, bike, like a really small one, about the size of a Grom, but it wasn't a Grom, it was a um, cheap brand, but still a pretty decent bike, and it had uh, engine issues, and the entire time through the video, she was trying to push it, like trying to get it going. And it wouldn't start, and then she ended up rolling downhill and bump started it. And then thought it was a good idea to ride it all the way to Scotland. And then in the morning, when she tried getting back on it, it wouldn't start again. <laughs> that to me is like probably one of the best videos I've seen her do. It was full of adventure, full of action, full of like. Just funniness, realistically. Oh, come on, people, don't keep forcing me onto leaves. Full of action and funniness and just adventures, and it was just funny all with her. It was interesting. And I do like her videos. They are pretty good. They're very informative. She does um, reviews of like triumphs and things like that, like Triumph, Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha, KTM, Kawasaki's, uh, I think she's done like quite a few cheap brands like Benelli, um, Sinis. Don't get me wrong, the cheap brands aren't too bad, they're pretty damn good. And she does local riding areas like this, like she literally rides these areas. Now the reason why I'm out here isn't because of that. It's because I like riding these areas too, because I like going down the fast roads. The narrow, fast, twisty roads that are probably a bit dangerous to go down fast, really, absolutely, but I don't mind. I like dangerous. That's why I do volunteering and tree filling and stuff. Because I like dangerous. Dangerous wakes me up in the morning. And it also lets me be myself and be silly. Now, the main thing I do like about their content though is they've been uploading for years and their attitude has never changed realistically. Like, if Kate doesn't like something about the bike, she'll say what she doesn't like about the bike. If she doesn't feel like some brand deal is a good brand deal, she won't take it because uh, she likes to protect her fans and stuff like that and her following. And uh, if she's like injured or whatever, she still does the videos. It seems to be like she's just good enough to do what she does. She's a brilliant person. Brilliant at what she does and she doesn't give up on it. I am going careful because it is a narrow road. I don't want to just smack into a car. I'm going to follow what Paul said to do to it. Wide lines. Wide lines are on turn so I can see ahead. I see a car dipping. Because he did say you can keep up more upright, isn't it? Because the guy that I normally ride with. It's called Paul, and he taught, teach me how to do all stuff. Because biker is Paul. So, yeah, I think that more than anything, though, okay, is a brilliant, brilliant person to watch on YouTube. And if you don't have, if you want to have, like a good channel to watch on YouTube, I suggest giving Kate a subscribe. Um, she is good.
I've been following this since the days of the white KTM. And uh, she had a little white KTM and it's, it was a good bike. I think she's now on a GS1200 or something like that. Skidded this rod. But I know she's on a BMW GS now, like 2016 plate, I think. And she does review bikes though. So. If you want to see Kate's videos, I suggest typing in at username Kate and it should come up with her name on uh, YouTube and then just watch her stuff because she's pretty good at doing her videos and I'm not going to lie it is some good content to watch it shows you how, like, how brave people can be how brave should pe people should be because she just doesn't back down, she goes for it even if the bike's too tall for her, she goes for it, she rides it And the boyfriend is just mental on bikes. One of the videos you did where she were riding down recently, down that bumpy road, down the rocky road, they keep calling it. That hill that I wouldn't ride down, I don't think most people would ride down. He, um, he rides that GS up it and down it, and I think it's on road tyres as well, which is mental. I think her, G her GS is called Beatrix or something like that. Beatrix Potter, mm. <laughs> writer of that uh, rabbit book, I think it is. Beatrix Potter. Well, it might be someone else that. I don't know. I don't read books very much because, let's be honest, I can't read. <laughs> I can, but not very well. Dyslexia. It's a hell of a thing to have. So is dyspraxia and autism and all the rest of the stuff that I have. It makes life a bit entertaining. Fucking hell, look at the state of this. It's a little bit sketch, not gonna lie. Good job the bike's got traction control. It does feel nice riding longer, you know. It's a slow space. Slow space? I'm gonna say slow pace, not slow space. Riding for space, apparently, because my mind just bounced all around the whole place at the moment. Oh, look at the squirrel. There's a squirrel! I kind of want to hold one of them. I know they might bite, but I don't care. I want to hold one. Just shock his little fuzzy head. Obviously on a dry day I can ride through a lot faster, but with it being autumn and wet and leaves are everywhere and the, the roads aren't exactly the most best at the moment because they are a bit wet and covered in diesel, I don't want to go too fast. And they're also covered in mud apparently. Yay. Makes it all the more safe, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to talk about Mike as well, because um, Mike Pie, he's on YouTube, but he's more known on his Twitch channel, Mike Pie, Twitch TTV, or something like that. Um, I think it's just Mike Pie on U on Twitch now. But um, he's more known on his, on his uh, Twitch channel where he plays Tarkov and has a laugh with people and plays games, which basically just chills out. And his idea of what you do isn't just a case of you watch him you have a laugh with him right and then he'll tell you on his uh, twitch stream that he wants you to get him killed by using the emotes don't stream snipe just use the emotes right so like you'll have a spongebob run across the screen or you'll have um, a crab dance on the screen 
or the guy from um, Pineapple Express going, oh, we fucked up. Pop up on the screen, take it up all the screen. And the idea is, as he's getting into a gunfight, just send all of them out at him. Just keep pumping them out at him. He's got a list on Discord. How many times people are getting killed? Thank you, bike, for going into neutral. You know, just quick shift into neutral. Thank you. That's why I don't like the quick shift. I thought I slipped and I didn't slip. I just went into neutral by accident. That's why my body tensed up when I did that, because that's how I normally control my slips. I tense my body up, lean forward over the tank, wriggle my ass. It's like twerking, except it's for dangerous shit and stupidity. Fucking hell. Look at the number of cyclists. Lots of cyclists. to the oh boy see right almost out of this area into the next area yeah. Back to the video, yeah? I keep getting distracted, I know, I'm sorry, but it's kind of alright riding along this road, I like it. Alright, dog. Nice dog just standing on court bike. So yeah, Mike Pye and Kate. Like I said, they're just both brilliant people. If you go watch their channel, you'll understand what I mean by the brilliant people. They make good content, they have a good laugh with people, and I think in general they're just both good. Mike Pye is like some kind of legendary dirt bike ace that can fly up off road on any bike ever. You give him like a bike that's made just for the track and he'll off road it and take it up mountains. Probably a bunny up it. And then you give Kate anything that's made for like off-road use and she'll probably take it on track and just blast around the track on it. It's like two worlds colliding in the biking world. One's off-road, one's on-road. And they're both brilliant at it. It's funny watching Mike on his um on Kate's channel though, because like when Kate's watching Mike ride motorbikes, she um she watches him go over bumps and he doesn't slow down over bumps, he just jumps. <laughs> and you hear her going, oh Mike, how dangerous are you? Oh, Mike, how crazy is that? It's like, funny as anything watching it. Right. Hope you guys have had a uh, nice view, I guess. Nice watch, what's that on the barrel underneath that car? What the hell? I hope you guys have had like, a good bit of information given to you. I know I'm not the best at explaining things or talking about things. I do struggle with uh, explaining and speaking, but I hope you guys understood enough that I do like the channel. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to go have a fun ride now. I'm going to blast through the countryside a little bit. Nice waterfall. Right, really nice waterfall. There's an old lady there bumping the head in the tree, but it's okay. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. So I'll see you in a bit, have a nice day, and hope you stay safe, ladies.